If you had the option between eating an apple and eating an Oreo, which one would you choose? Of course, the Oreo. But if you just had the apple, well, you'd rather eat something than nothing, so you'd eat the apple. The reason you struggle to be consistent with your improvement habits is because you're surrounded by Oreos, but the improvement habits are apples. When I eliminated all Oreos from my life, I finally became consistent with my habits after years of procrastination. But if you do this the wrong way, it will not work. There is a specific method I will explain in this video that I used. First, you need to understand that boredom is boring, but it's also necessary. In nature, mammals and humans, we are mammals, look for the best opportunities available you know, for our survival. We look for the, you know, juiciest food, the thickest bitches, the things that bring the most status. This is how our brains are wired. We look for the best. So of course, when you have an Oreo and when you have an apple, your brain wants the more delicious thing. It craves the sugar because it, it just gives you more dope. And so regardless of how hard you try to control yourself, you end up eating more Oreos than apples. It just, it just, you can't discipline yourself out of this situation. <laughs> and it's not your fault that this happens. It's literally our nature. The reason I have become so consistent with my habits is not some magic trick. It's just that I have no Oreos in my life. I, I have to choose to do the good habits or I have no other option. There is literally nothing else. I've removed the other options from my life as far as I can. And this has led me to get all my dopamine from the good habits. Your brain will release dopamine, the hormone that literally makes you motivated, based on the most appealing thing in your environment. This means that if you have the option to play video games instead of working out, your brain will always choose, or at least most of the time choose, to give you the motivation to play the games and almost never to work out because gaming is just more stimulating compared to working out. But if you don't play games like me, the only option you have is to work out and do other habits that are good. So your brain makes you motivated to work out instead. What you like is based on comparison, not on the actual habit. If you remove the overstimulating habits, then the improvement habits will become easy because you remove the comparison. Join my free self-improvement community in which you can find a full course on quitting all bad habits and more sort of in-detail tips. But if you try to eliminate the bad habits the wrong way, none of this will work. This was my biggest mistake and honestly I thought that I was weak or just plain stupid for not being able to follow through. But I was just doing it wrong, that's the reality. What I tried at first was to remove all stimulating activities at once, video games, porn, social media, entertainment, everything. I tried this for years and it never worked. After a few days, I would just return to my old bad habits. I hated myself, but all along, it was because I was trying too hard. Nothing was wrong with me, I was just trying too hard. Seriously, you will make much better progress if you just removed one stimulating habit at a time. Your brain is so used to the stimulation, so it cannot deal with removing everything at once. It's impossible. You just have a brain fart after one or two days and you return to doing bad habits. Instead, just remove one, one, one bad habit at a time. If you're struggling with consistency, don't try to remove all the habits. Remove one bad habit. If you remove one bad habit each month, in pretty much six months, you'll be free from all the bad habits. Considering it took me four years to quit my own bad habits because I was trying to do it at once for most of the time and I would keep coming back to them, six months is a pretty good deal. So pick one, games, porn, social medias, movies, unhealthy food, etc. Pick one of these bad habits, remove it for one month and you'll stop you know, craving it. it. It takes one month for you to stop craving the, this bad habit. When you stop craving it, afterwards, you just pick another bad habit and before you know it, all of your bad habits will be gone. And the great thing about this is 
that is just almost unnoticeable, like you don't notice, it's not a torture session. You almost don't notice this when you remove them one by one. You gradually just change your habits and before you know it, you have completely changed everything just month by month. But here is the tricky part. Removing a bad habit opens a gap in your day which just naturally leads to boredom. If you stay with the boredom and you don't know what to do, you will go back to your bad habits. This happened to me like 1000 times before I realized what's wrong. Remove watching YouTube, have nothing to do for three hours a day, back to watching YouTube after one day, feel sorry about myself. <laughs> this is a normal period of struggle, but you can make it easier. Basically, fill your time up. Once you pick the one habit you want to quit in the next 30 days, also pick one good habit you want to implement to replace the bad habit. Maybe you choose to play, you know, stop playing video games, then don't just choose to stop playing video games, replace it with something. Your brain needs to have something in there. Your energy needs to go somewhere, otherwise you're gonna go fucking crazy and go back to your bad habits. So for example, you can replace video games with working out. Now here is the trick though. Most people in this space will tell you to go hard, never miss a day, you must be perfect, I call bullshit. If you push yourself on a day in which you have low willpower, low discipline, you will revert to bad habits. Some days a win is just not doing the bad habits even if you don't do anything productive. Literally just not doing the bad habits, some days that's just a win. Even if you don't work out, if you just don't do bad habits, that's a win. If you try to force yourself on such a bad day, you might have this moment where you lose self-control and instead go back to playing video games or to your other bad habits. This happened to me so many times. I pushed myself way too hard. I got so tired that I couldn't even resist the bad habits. And so I would be stuck in this cycle. My advice here is to prioritize stopping the bad habits. Push yourself to do the workouts and the good habits instead of, you know, the bad habits. But sometimes just not doing the bad habits is a win for that day. Some days are weak. This is how I became consistent with my improvement habits. I removed the comparisons by removing bad habits one by one and then I just slowly replace them with the good habits. Join the community if you want accountability on your self-improvement and purpose journey um, by 